There are many different ways to edit and run programs, and each of these different techniques is sometimes known as a workflow. And so there's a bunch of different ways that one can do that process, a lot of different workflows. So for example, having a text editor plus the command line, that's what we just did when we were playing around with compilation. You also did this if you took 61A or CS88. You have a text editor for writing your code and a command line for running and compiling your code, potentially. We've also seen other workflows and other classes you may have taken, right? So for example, uh, if you've ever used a Jupyter Notebook in Data8, that's an example where you write and run code in the same environment. And then there's actually a little fancier version of that known as an integrated development environment. So this is a more super powered version of what you would get out of a Jupyter Notebook where you're gonna write code and run code in the same environment, but then there's extra features like, uh, as we'll see in a moment, continuous syntax checking or a fancy debugger, all kinds of funny things that we're gonna learn in this class that are really useful. Now, if you took E7, you've used MATLAB, which is also an IDE. Uh, and in this class, we're really gonna focus on this workflow because when you're building really big software, often, but not always, people tend to like having an integrated development environment. So let's open up uh, the programs we wrote earlier uh, in the IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, for our course, IntelliJ. So I'm just gonna Alt-Tab my way over to IntelliJ, and this is what it looks like. It's a lot of stuff here, way more than we'll cover in this class. Uh, but the key thing that I wanna note is uh, that here, uh, whenever we look at, for example, that larger demo file that we wrote, if I have here an error, like if I do what's the larger of three and 10, everything's fine. But as soon as I put in a floating value, a floating point value, a double or whatever, uh, it's going to be complaining at me. In fact, I can mouse over here and it'll tell me the reason I'm putting this squig red squiggly is because it's expecting an integer, but we provided a double. There's a million other really cool things that IntelliJ can do that we'll be teaching you in the coming labs, but just wanted to let you know, this is where we're programming because I want you to have access to these great features. Uh, so that's IntelliJ, you'll be using it for the rest of the semester. Uh, we don't strictly 100% require it. Like if you're somebody who's very proficient at using Vim or VS Code or whatever, you're welcome to, but we're not gonna provide any support and it'll be a lot more annoying, especially when it comes to writing tests. So we're not gonna provide any support whatsoever for any other programming uh, technique for this class. Uh, so we strongly, strongly, strongly recommend use IntelliJ unless you really know what you're doing. Okay. So that's what we'll be using. It's pretty cool.